Hello everyone, Genesis Rider here with another Genesis Tips and Tricks video. Uh, let me go ahead and hang out my custom game lobby so the music will turn off in the background. No, this is not a custom game gameplay. We'll be getting into the matchmaking Big Team Battle Exile BTB Slayer gameplay very soon. This is my first game of the day. I literally get on Xbox Live, play Big Team Battle, and this is my first game of the day, Infinity Slayer and Exile. And I want you to look at, as I press RB on my controller to bring up the KD spread, this is simply kills minus deaths, okay? I want you to look at my team right here. Every single one of the people on my team go negative. What this means is that they get more deaths than kills. Now, I had a minute and a second as my average life. My KD spread was plus 11. Um, I get 18 kills and 7 deaths. Very respectable above 2.0, 18 divided by 7 is definitely above 2.0 KD. In other words, I got more than 2 kills per death. And frankly, I just want to go over this gameplay because um, it doesn't seem to me like they're that bad. I just guys, I really want to show you what is going on in this game and how people playing Halo 4 right now just don't seem to understand how to stay alive. I don't think they truly understand or realize the concept that when you die more than you get kills, you are giving away score to the enemy team, and the enemy team will beat you. I, I, I won't forget, you know, halfway through the game, um, I'll, I'll show you the time where I look at my score and I go, I'm doing amazing, and then I realize that the enemy players have more than two times our score. So guys, off the spawn here. Um, I know the enemy team is going to be pretty decent, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight for the sniper rifle, which spawns to our right here. Thankfully, there's um, no more Gosshog on Exile once the update has occurred. Enemy. So I'm going to hang back of the sniper rifle, and yes, this does contribute to me going positive in this game, but trust me, I don't grab the sniper rifle very much. In fact, I don't even get in vehicles very much this game. And I do end up getting sniped off right off the bat. Very good snipes on the enemy player's part. That's one of the three dumb deaths I really had. Um, to be honest, I don't grab the sniper rifle very much on this map. The same thing with the sniper rifle on the map Meltdown. I just don't find it very easy to snipe on this map um, compared to maps like Ragnarok or uh, something of that nature. So right here, I'm just hanging back, trying to get a good um, snipes on players from a distance. You saw me put four shots into the enemy Banshee there. I assist the teammate right there. Always put your sniper shots into the enemy vehicles, as always. And as you see me doing it right there. It's really important that you take down that Mantis. Mantis is probably more, one of the more powerful vehicles on the map, especially if the person driving the Mantis is using Wheelman. Um, thankfully, I take out their Banshee there. So as you can see here, I haven't gotten that many kills with a sniper rifle. I've mostly been um, trying to assist my teammates as best I could. You know, I could hang back and get a ton of kills with a sniper, but I don't do that. I choose to weaken the enemy's vehicles. Notice how the vehicle, the Mantis, already already backs up. They back up all the time when you shoot them and their shields go very, very low. That's why you want to be putting those shots to the Mantis. You want to make them the Mantis think, oh my gosh, I'm about to die. And it, he'll back up. Now, I want you to notice right here what my teammates are doing okay look look where they are in the center of the map or respawning at their base after dying in where oh the center of the map you don't charge the center of the map okay unless you know you're going to have full control and even if you do charge the center you rarely go up this ramp unless you don't see anyone on your radar up here you go around the sides okay specifically if you're going to die a lot you go around the very side of the map there and of course banshee spawn right over here okay now if the enemy players have banshee spawn and control the center of the map it's going to be very hard to push some of these areas which is something i want to address in this video you have to learn to pick your battles no well should i rephrase you're not going to win all your battles and some parts of the game are going to be very slow and very uninteresting as in happening to me right now okay the Mantis just turns out of nowhere and blames me with three rockets, okay? Stupid stuff like that is going to happen. But as I showed you, I got 18 kills in seven deaths. 
okay? Again, a very, very stupid death occurs right here, and it's very unfortunate, all right? But as, you, as I've already showed you the stats, I go positive, plus 11, and my teammates don't. Not just because I had a sniper rifle or something like that. I mean, as you can see, I just got three or four kills with that sniper rifle. It's avoiding these huge middle confrontations. Again, I want you to stop and look at where all my teammates are. They're all in the same location. Big, freaking, easy targets. Where am I going? The opposite direction. I don't want to hang out anywhere near these guys. They're just going to draw attention and be a target. And I immediately notice this guy over here. I'm not sure why this guy doesn't fire earlier than he does. He could have easily killed me. Um, he even backs up. That was a really good nade. Um, and ends up blowing up to the right here. Um, it, all, it goes all the way over here, which was kind of insane. I didn't mean to bounce it that much. But um, I'm going to charge up here and try to take out this guy. Again, crouching, staying off the radar. And look at this guy making the mistake of charging because he doesn't know where I am. I'm going to call down this overshield. And I'm going to end up pursuing this kill, which is probably a bad idea. When anyone's, anyone smart sees that you have an overshield, they're going to back away. Like that guy just did. He backs away to first so I can waste my overshield. Now, I do end up getting this kill here, but the Mantis ends up destroying my overshield. And as you can see, the Mantis is now on fire. I highly doubt the Mantis would be on fire if I hadn't put those sniper rifle rounds into him earlier in the game. And he does end up dying. Right here, I want to definitely push hard and help my teammate out here. And notice how you, I just shoot through the smoke and grab a random headshot, but I don't push up because I know the enemy player has a saw. You see how he's pre-firing around the corner? He's shooting at this corner, even though I, I haven't come up here yet. I'm just going to jump out and give him a really nice... Actually, a, later on, I give him a nice crispy four shot. Now, I know that this enemy rocket hog knows we're here. Okay, they have a radar too. So what he's going to do is he's going to fire more rockets right here. And, it, and that's exactly what he's going to end up doing. Again, this is how my thought process was in the game. It's not just because I'm going back in theater and rewatching the film. This guy gets a really nice crispy four shot and gets raped. I grab his saw, and unfortunately, I believe there's a point somewhere in here where I end up dying, really unfortunately. I go down this ramp to my right, I believe, right here, and I end up getting killed. Yes, I do end up getting killed right here by the enemy beam rifle carrier. I did not see that guy right here who has the beam rifle. I had no clue. I was way too focused on the enemy warthog trying to see where he was and kill him. And I end up getting punished for that. It's strange that things would go back in a theater film and notice. Um, I haven't scripted this theater film at all. In fact, this is the first time I've actually gone through the theater film. So I may um, be rambling a little bit here. But I hope you guys can understand what I'm trying to get at. And notice where I'm going in the map. I'm not hanging out where they're hanging out. They're on the freaking center of the map. And yes, it's going to be slower over here. But over here, I can pick my battles. And specifically right here, I end up doing very, very well. In fact, I may add this to my um, YouTube video I'm making on how to stay alive. This specific portion right here. This is a kill you want to you want to charge and you want to get because I already had shots of him coming across the lift. I was one shot ahead of him, so I knew I could finish that kill. Now this guy, now notice what I see here. This is very good observation on my part. This guy has a rocket launcher. I already know that because he's carrying something above his head. Anything you're carrying above your head is a Spartan laser, rocket launcher, fuel rod, or incineration cannon. There may be a few other weapons as well, but they look very iconic. And so I immediately run, and as, I, as you can hear right behind me, he just fired a rocket at me and missed. Very good job on my part. Now, I want you to notice what I do here. I lift over. Because what he's going to do is be charging, and there he is, charging across the map. In fact, he's in front of this guy. So I'm going to lift over, and it's going to be impossible for him to nail me with a rocket in midair right here. Again, getting a few shots. End up embarrassing this kid. As I come across the lift, and lift, and as you can tell, that guy tried to look straight up. But when you look straight up, you can't look any farther. You can't go up any farther. So he had to turn all the way around, and then look down as I was coming up the lift. And if you have a slow sensitivity, he may be been playing on two or three. That would be very difficult for him to do. Look what I do with this guy here. Okay? This is the same guy who had those rockets, okay? What is my thought process here when I pick up this turret? The turret is insane. It's amazing. In fact, the placement of this turret on the map XI is one of the best placed turrets on this map. 
because you can do this, what I'm doing right now. Surprise people coming over the lift. People coming over the lift have a huge momentum spree. They came up, come over the lift, they come here, they jump, and they're ready to charge up here as fast as possible. But what this enemy player doesn't understand is that the rockets are only useful if you're looking on a downward slope at someone. Because you don't want to be shooting the rockets at someone. And as you can tell by this enemy player, this enemy player realizes that. He doesn't even fire a rocket. He doesn't even fire a rocket. Okay, I, I'm sorry, he does. Again, this is the first time I've been over this film. He completely misses. Why? Because he was shooting at me. Notice how his rocket isn't even going for the floor. If I were him, I would have I would have gone back here. Okay. Then I would have jetpacked up, gone around the corner right here, and fired straight at the floor. Okay. I'm an easy target because I'm moving so slowly with that turret. Okay. But he's below me, so he can't shoot the floor. He can only shoot up into the air like this. But as it is, I end up cleaning up that guy very well. Reloading a rocket here. Notice how I'm behind the enemy players now. Look where all my teammates are still. They're still doing the same thing. Bobby shots on my part there. This is likely the same guy who, who did have the rocket before, but I'm not quite sure. Still jetpacking again. Notice how I wait till he hits the floor. I'm going to fire a rocket here because I think I might kill this guy. I don't. And so I'm not going to stay on the open because I get the assist right here. And then I grab the saw. Thankfully, I do end up staying alive with this saw for a little longer than the previous one as I grabbed the Spartan laser and got beam rifled previously in the film. Don't end up getting this kill, but uh, maybe put on assist or so. I'm going to charge up. Notice how I'm just staying alive here. I'm just trying to stay alive. I get an assist, actually, for um, shooting at that guy, as I said. Now, right here, this guy knows I'm here, right? So the reason why I'm pausing here is to see if he's going to throw any of his nades. Nades at this angle are ridiculous. Now, I want you to notice how when I charge up at this guy with the saw, I do not hold down my trigger and spam the saw. I pulse the trigger, okay? Pulsing allows you to retain your accuracy and allows all your bullets to hit the enemy player. And while I don't think I'm 100% accurate in this battle, I am pretty darn accurate. Notice how I pulsed the trigger and it killed him so much faster. Put a few shots into the enemy Mantis, I'm sorry, the enemy Banshee, and it ended up really surprising this guy. Now, when the enemy ha player has a stall like that, you can definitely spam the trigger a little bit more because you're being desperate. As you can tell, I was down a little bit in my shield when I came across that guy with the saw. But he was distracted because he was using his hologram. funny how using a hologram can almost distract the player using it. Um, that, that's not, doesn't happen very often. Okay. Oh, that's weird. Every time I use thruster pack, it feels like the theater mode kicks me out of the, uh, into third person. I, I didn't go put my character into third person. The film just kicked me out of into third person. This is, again, really unfortunate. Um, I was zooming, and as when you're zooming, you can't have your radar you can't see your radar unless you have that one armor um, support upgrade or whatever that's not very useful. Um, and as you can tell right there, I was going for the center of the map, and guess what? I immediately died. Okay, which is a great, another great example for this film. Again, the film kicks me into third person even though I did not click to go into third person. I don't know why the film does that. I haven't been able to track exactly why films are make do that for you. And again, oh sorry. Again, notice where my teammates are. Okay? Notice where they are and notice where I am. I'm on the sides of the map shooting at them and staying alive. Now, they already know I'm here because my shields are already going down. Enemy team nearing victory. Stay alive here. Get another good kill. Now, the reason why I shot that guy closer here was because I knew that that was the guy charging up so I'd get an easy kill on him. Now, right here, I don't think I actually get this kill. I think the game ends before I'm able to get the kill, unfortunately. But guys, that's how you stay alive on Exile, um, even against vehicles. Um, and I hope that explains to you a little bit why I... I don't know. 
a pet peeve of mine I just get frustrated with enemy or teammates who really just don't know what they're doing. They don't know how to stay alive. And um, I hope this uh, allows you to be a better teammate in the future to your teams that you're on in Halo 4. So guys, um, if you like the gameplay where I slowed it down, give you some in-depth tips, um, like the video, subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you on the next capture or whatever I end up recording. Peace, guys.